Hi, Bill Nye here. I've been an electric vehicle enthusiast for 20 years. I'm not kidding. I used to drive the uh, General Motors EV1. I, I kept the handbook. And everybody I gave a ride to, I would record their name in this little book. And the idea was to get the EV smile. And you'll see, when you drive an electric car, you'll get the smile. This is my Chevy Bolt. Uh, it's an electric vehicle made by Chevrolet. Now here's the big idea, you guys. The car doesn't know where the electrons are coming from. The electrons, the electricity, could be coming from a wind farm, a solar farm, a uh, nuclear power plant, it could be coming from a coal-fired power plant, from a natural gas plant, or a geothermal energy. So as we make the transition to clean electricity, our transportation system will be ready to go. Let's go. No tailpipe, no tailpipe emissions. Maximum torque at zero speed. So if I were to step on the accelerator right now, well, you'd get that EV smile. And then inherently to accelerate up to the freeway, to get to freeway speeds so like, like this, <laughs> these good gas powered cars, they're like so 20th century. Anyway, uh, they, those cars have to carry around a motor big enough to do that acceleration maneuver. And so most of the time they're carrying a substantial, uh, substantially much more weight in the form of the iron and aluminum in the engine than they need. Electric vehicles don't suffer from this because of the remarkable acceleration performance. In a gas-powered car, when you apply the brakes or when you go downhill, we put some of that energy back in the battery. Can't do that in a gas-powered car. That energy just goes to waste. The electric vehicles are just far, far more efficient than gas-powered cars. There's three problems with gas-powered cars just to start. That's a pun. <laughs> uh, just to get going. First of all, every time you step on the brake at a stop sign or a stoplight like this one, the energy just goes to heat. It just goes to heat. But here, in an electric vehicle, we can capture that energy and put it back in the batteries. We can regenerate it. And you may hear electric vehicles and enthusiasts say, talk about regen, regeneration. It happens every time you go downhill and almost every time you step on the brake. After you drive an electric car, you'll never go back. It's just, it's better in every way. So what we want to do from an engineering standpoint is get every vehicle on the road, cars, trucks, buses, all electrified, all using electric transportation because it's so much more efficient. And these gas-powered uh, sport utility vehicles and the, the van, they use what we call a heat engine. That is to say they take the heat of burning gasoline and turn it into forward motion. Because of the law of the second law of thermodynamics, you're only able to capture a certain amount of that energy. The rest goes to heat because in order to get it to work, it has to have a hot place that's inside the engine and a cold place outside the engine where the radiator is. And that limits you by at least 30%. Most gas-powered cars are barely 30% efficient. 30% to loss to the second law of thermodynamics and another 30, 40% loss to just friction. But an electric car, we don't have that problem. Tell you what else, this is as loud as it gets in here. It's always quiet. People think I'm in a phone booth or something because the car is so quiet when I talk on the phone hands free. So here's hoping you all will embrace electric vehicles this week and in the future and get the EV smile.